Welcome to the iNurture videos. Hello students. In this video, we will learn about Dao theory. Dao theory was formulated by Charles Dao in the late 19th century. It has been around for more than a century. Yet, even in today's volatile and technologically driven markets, the basic components of Dao theory still remain valid. The basic principles of the theory were written by him in the editorials that he wrote for the Wall Street Journal. The address is not only technical analysis and price action but also market philosophy. What does this imply? A read through the Dow theory testify that the stock market behaves in the same way today as it did almost 100 years ago. Let us understand basic tenets of the Dow theory. As per Dow theory market is in the know of all information that may affect the supply and demand. All events are also quickly discounted by the markets and the stock prices are accordingly corrected. This basic tenet is true for market averages as well as individual markets. Next tenet says the market has three trends. According to Dow, a trend has three parts, primary, secondary and the minor. A primary trend can be an uptrend or a downtrend. According to Dow, the primary market trend can last for more than a year. A secondary trend is a short-term market movement which deviates from the primary trend. This trend usually lasts 3 weeks to 3 months. The minor trend is the near-term trend and this market movement lasts less than 3 weeks. Now let's study the third tenet. Major trends have three phases. Every primary trend consists of three phases. The accumulation phase, the absorption phase and the distribution phase. During the accumulation phase, investors start entering the market. It happens at the very end of a downtrend and the price is at the most attractive level. However, it is one of the difficult phases to spot. As the recovery starts to happen, this trend moves into absorption phase. Investors start coming back to the stock and thus further pushes the prices up. This phase lasts the longest. As this phase progress, we move into the distribution phase. At this stage, the investors are flocking to invest. The early entrants now sell at significant profit to the new entrants who are buying near the top. During this phase, the investors should be aware of weakness in the primary trend and should be on the lookout for the trend reversal. Fourth tenet of Dow theory says that the averages must confirm each other. As per this tenet, any rise or fall in the Dow Jones Industrial Average must be accompanied by a rise or fall in the Dow Jones Transportation Index. If there is any divergence in both of these averages, it means that the market was going to change direction. If not, then the trend will continue. Let us look at the fifth tenet, that is, volume must confirm the trend. When the movement of stock price is accompanied by large volume, it means that there are large participants in the market. Dow believed that if large numbers of investors are in the market at a particular price and the price moves in one direction, is an indication of a trend in the making. Dow's last tenet says that a trend is assumed to be in effect until it gives definitive signals that it has reversed. As the laws of motion states that an object which is in motion will continue to be in motion until some external force causes it to stop. Similarly, a trend will continue till infinity or some market forces cause the trend to be reversed. 